What's up everybody, it's Matt here again from Filter Grid, and today I'm going to be taking you through my process for creating video LUTs in Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, I'll be taking you through the basic corrections like exposure, highlights, shadows, and then I'll take you through the, curves to the curve tone adjustments, and then after the main color grading part in the Lumetri color panel. Um, in addition to that, I'll also be giving away three free LUTs that are pretty much just warm tone LUTs, good for summer or you know vintage film kind of look and I'll have those linked in the description as well so let's go ahead and hit Adobe Premiere Pro and get started alright so I'm gonna go ahead and start by opening up Premiere Pro and once I have it opened up I'll go ahead and just drag and drop some footage today I'm gonna be using some from a music video shoot um, in Boston and to get started we can to get started I'll actually show you what some of the presets that I've already made look like um, and how easy it is to use them. All you have to do is go into the effects panel up top and then click on the presets along the right side. From there, all of your presets will be there and you can just drag them onto the, the footage that you have in your project panel below. And on the left side, you can turn them on and off by clicking the effects button. So some of these are, are really easy to use and they work with a range of footage so you'll always be you know making quick edits and then you can adjust that on top of it. But when you're making your own own video LUTs in Premiere Pro, you're gonna start by going to the color section up top, which is between editing and effects. And then from there, everything is going to be on the right side of the screen. So this is the basic corrections tab, but there's, you know, creative curves, color wheels and match, all that. In the look tab, that's where you're going to be able to import your LUTs from. So if you were to have some in your folder, you'd go in there and you'd, you'd import your LUTs from there. But to go ahead and get started, um, we'll just go through each one of these, these tabs for creating your own LUT. You know creating your own color style for the footage that you're working with um, so let's go ahead and just go into the basic corrections and get started this is basically like editing a photo um, you know it's your generic exposure contrast highlights shadows all that all that good stuff and then you can also um, play around with the temperature and tint for me I usually like to I like to keep this area pretty basic. I don't like to go too hard with it because I'll make my main adjustments in the curves panel and the color wheels panel. So let's just go ahead and, and get this, you know, basic adjusted. So now I'm going to go into the creative section. The faded film tool is one of those things that I, I do enjoy. I like the look of it. I just think it looks a little bit fake. So usually if I'm going to add more of a filmy look, I'll just add some of my 35 millimeter film overlays, which you can see. Um, there's a link in the description if you want to check them out. But for this video, you can just see the example. They're pretty, they're pretty good for adding those like old school textures on top of your footage. I think they're great for music videos as well. But let's just go ahead next into the curves panel. This is where I'm going to make some some more color adjustments like my second layer of color adjustments I really like to play with the the reds and the greens in the in the curves panel because it'll it'll kind of blend it together to make it warmer or cooler depending on what you're going for and I think that looks pretty good so next let's go into the color wheels and match panel this is where it gets real kind of color grading serious. So the mid-tones will just affect your general scene so I usually start by playing with those. Once I get to a, a good color tone that I'm liking then I'll move to the shadows and highlights wheels again and kind of just make those last final adjustments. I'll usually start by figuring out which half um, I want, like which half of colors whether it's warm or cool and then from there I'll work my way down just by you know, clicking all over the place. Kind of just super random, honestly. There's no real method to my madness. I just keep going until I see what I like. So I'll just keep messing with it until I find the color tone that I'm looking for. And then that should be good. 
after that once you're done with your your you know your color grading you can also see it on the left side of your screen um, under the lumetri color and if you click this effects button on and off you can actually see the before and after um, one other thing let's let's go into how to save your own LUTs because I think that's important to know how to do once you get it once you actually create the LUT so go ahead and do lumetri color and there's those three little bars just click save preset from there um, from here you can name it and it'll just be saved in your effects tab under the presets so once you have it saved well let's export it too so I usually like to export it to any folder that you know works for you and I try to save it as a lot or as a, a dot look file and a dot cube file that way it's compatible for anyone that wants to use it and so now we have the LUTs, we have the LUT exported and saved. So once I want to go see it, we can actually just click on the effects panel, go into our presets panel, and then you go and find whatever you named your preset. All you have to do is drag and drop it. And now it's just a one click, you know, color edit for, for all your footage. So. Yeah, so now that you have saved the lot, you'll be able to use it over and over again. It's super helpful and it's super time saving. So for me, I, I'm always using them. I'm always creating more so that I have, you know, more in my inventory and it's just great to have. So that that's the um, Toby lot. And like I said, I'll, I'll have them in the description. So make sure you check them out. All right, so that's it for creating your own video lights at home in Premiere Pro. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. I'll get back to you as fast as I can. Also, check out the free LUTs that I included in the description. Those are great for adding warm tones to your footage. Um, other than that, be sure to subscribe and like this video. Have a good one. Peace.